Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Tell me about your conception of yourself about being healthy and wealthy. You know what most people think is that they expect things to come from outside. They see the world as it is and they think that the world is how it is. Doubting that they can change that. Not knowing that the world it is how it is because of their present consciousness. What I say now is that the world outside, how you see it, is exactly how people see in their present consciousness. And that's why Neville says, why not become aware of being great, God-loving, healthy, wealthy, and all attributes that you admire. It is just as easy to possess the consciousness of these qualities as it is to possess their opposites, for you have not your present consciousness because of your world. On the contrary, your world is what it is because of your present consciousness. Simple, is it not? Too simple. In fact, for the wisdom of man that tries to complicate everything, Paul said of this principle, It is to the Greeks, or wisdom of this world, foolishness, and to the Jews, or those who look for signs, a stumbling block, with the result that man continues to walk in darkness rather than awake to the being that he is. Man has so long worshipped the images of his own making that at first he finds this revelation blasphemous since it spells death to all his previous beliefs in a God apart from himself. This revelation will bring the knowledge that I and my Father are one, but my Father is greater than I. You are one with your present conception of yourself, but you are greater than that which you are at present aware of being. Before man can attempt to transform his world, he must first lay the foundation, I am the Lord. So whatever you are thinking the world looks like, and it is how it is. In reality, it is not how it is. You and me made it like this. You being aware that it is like this. It is all because of people's present consciousness. Think of it again. Okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next video, guys.